Hello everyone, this is Mark Van de Wettering of the BrainWagon blog. And I've got a really simple project which I hope will turn out well. I'm just starting it here. Unlike most of them, I'm not writing it up after I finish everything. This is the game Duino that I won uh, as for uh, supporting the Kickstarter project of uh, James Bowman a few weeks ago. And it's a very cool little gadget. If you haven't heard of it, go to GameDuino.com and look up some more information about it. Um, it's a cool thing that has a VGA out there and a sound out, and you can use it to make um, sort of you know retro style uh, video games like we used to play on our old 8-bit machines. Uh, one of the things you could have gotten in the Kickstarter project is a little uh, joystick shield that plugs into the top. But as you can see from the size of my hand, I don't really want to be using a joystick that small. So what to do, what to do. I haven't, haven't uh, done this before. So when I was in Hillsborough a few weeks ago, I went to surplusgizmos.com, or Surplus Gizmos, they have a website, and I picked up some of these arcade switches. So these are neat. They have a little one-inch barrel here that has a thing that screws on, and you can use them. You can actually, they're a double pull or double throw single pull switch, which you might be able to see there a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. And um, they're really cool. So I got four of them, four different colors. Left, right, uh, fire in hyperspace is the way that I normally think about it. And uh, I wanted to build a controller out of them. I don't have a whole lot of woodworking supplies around my house. I do have a drill press, but I don't really do a lot of cutting. I don't have a table saw or anything. So what I did was I went over to, um, deal with this in a minute, went over to Ikea and just picked up one of these little, uh, I don't even know how you pronounce that, but basically it's just a little uh, white box and uh, made out of uh, some kind of melanine or whatever. And I, this costs like $10 or something, and I'm going to stick it together, bore some holes in the top, which should be nice and sturdy to hold the buttons, wire it up, um, I picked up one of these little terminal bars in, at uh, Radio Shack. This will be screwed in, and this is what all the switches will get wired in across the top. And then I'll make some little patch cable to uh, feed from the bottom, and this will be a joystick controller. The white melanine is kind of nice because you can put decals on it. Maybe I'll put it, make a game do we know decal or something to put on it in the future. But in any case, uh, this is the start of the idea. So we'll see how far I get and w what trouble I run into, but it should be a really simple project. Uh, stay tuned for part two. Hi, well I'm back and I mounted all these buttons on this top part of the box, you can see. Um, a word of caution, you can see that the edges around this uh, green button are a little wonky. Um, I originally tried to use a spade bit to do this, just do not bother. Go out and do what I did, spend 13 bucks and get yourself the proper Forstner bit for this because those spade bits just jump all over the place. You cannot clamp this thing down firmly enough to actually keep it from chewing this particle board all to hell. But uh, once you get the Forstner bit, they come in nice and smooth. They look pretty good. So we've got fire, hyperspace, left and right. These will all be mounted on the box. And I'll be back when this thing's more or less assembled. Oh, well, actually, while I'm here, I may as well show you that I also have... Uh, this uh, little punch block, which is going to be mounted in the side. I'll probably uh, flip the uh, bolts around so that the nuts are on the inside rather than on the outside, just because it'll look better, and then I'll paint the head, nail head, uh, the heads of the screws a little bit so that they look a little better. But uh, that's basically uh, the side. So next stop, it'll all be assembled, and then I'll start working on the switches. All right, everyone. This is Mark Van de of the BrainWagon blog, as you undoubtedly learned. And uh, I've gotten my button box fixed, finished, and here it is playing Asteroids, um, which is one of the games that ships with the game Duino. And I'm playing it one-handed so I can fire, but you can see that the left and right and fire controls all work, and I totally suck. Uh, here we are. You can click it to replay. The uh, yellow button I've got, which is what's hooked to thrust, is actually a little weak, but... Um, but all the controls work. I had to modify the code a little bit because I actually wired the, uh, the switches uh, in the inverse of what was expected from the uh, Asteroids program, but that only took me a couple seconds to fix. And now I have this really kind of nice little button box, which I can use to play video games. Again, this was, you can see that the Arduino and a power LED is stuck down there. 
Right now, I'm just doing some sound from this little uh, powered speaker from the uh, from the uh, from Radio Shack that I use for a lot of experiments. But it wouldn't be hard to rig an embedded speaker and a small LM386 based amplifier into this to make an actual little embedded game machine. So overall, this has been kind of a fun project. I learned a little bit about pull ups and pull downs and all that kind of stuff. But it's basically just carpentry and lots of just sort of wacky wiring underneath. And uh, I'll present some more details on my blog. But until then, I think I'm going to play some Asteroids. Thanks a lot to James Bowen for implementing the uh, game Duino. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this. This is Mark Van de Wettering of the Brainwagon blog.